Whoa, 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 whoa. Good morning, you guys. Today is Monday. This is actually the first time I'm using my voice today, so it's like... Ooh, jump scare. <laughs> Recently, I've been doing like more of a Sunday reset. I used to always clean my apartment on Sunday, but I've been meal prepping. I've been cleaning more than I usually have. I've been like really prepping my week on Sunday and like making Sundays a very, very productive day instead of a lazy day. And it has woken me up in the best mood. I feel so like mentally refreshed, ready for the week. I feel like I'm in a positive space. However, I do feel really tired the past couple weeks. Every single day, my eyes just feel really heavy and tired. You know when your eyes just feel heavy? And so I always think okay the second i go to sleep at night i my head hits a pillow i'm gonna fall asleep instantly no i've been taking hours to fall asleep at night and i haven't been sleeping well i haven't been staying asleep i haven't falling asleep easily i'm waking up for my alarm not being able to fall back asleep even on the weekends when i have the time to sleep in my body isn't letting me and i'm not getting a lot of sleep and i don't know what's wrong with me because i just want to sleep and i think i'm starting to get sick it's probably from the lack of sleep and i've been trying to sleep i've been trying to go to bed early i've been trying to sleep in but my body's just not letting me i don't know what What's the issue there? Like, what are we doing here? You're gonna have to figure that out, but I do think that I'm getting sick and it's making me a little worried. Good thing that I'm working from home today. My boss was sick last week and he said that he like recovered really quickly. So I'm gonna be like, hey, what did you do to feel better? <laughs> cause I need all the help I can get cause I really don't wanna get sick. I feel like I'm in like the beginning phases where I'm starting to be congested, but it's not sick yet. You know, I'm like in the beginning stages so if I can do anything to help me, I will. So that probably will include trying to go to bed extra early tonight. We will see if that works. I really hope it does. I also feel like I have been pushing my body a little bit more than usual because I've been trying, I'm not doing the 75 hard or anything like that, but I've been trying to like accomplish goals like 10,000 steps a day, drinking three fourths a gallon of water, cooking more, being more social too, which kind of is maybe not the best thing if you're not feeling well. We'll see how it goes. I feel really refreshed this morning because I cleaned my apartment last night. It just looks so clean and I never make my bed and I made my bed this morning. So I'm proud of myself there. And then my kitchen, I have all these boxes. I actually got a walk pad and then like a desk riser and i'm so excited to use these i need to set them up today it's on my to-do list i'll show you guys this is my to-do list right here for the week i'll link this down below for you guys i actually made these to-do lists if you don't know of a couple different variations of them this is what we have going on for this week this day typically these to-do lists start off kind of bare like this and then just as the week goes on i fill them out more and they just kind of get like crazy and hectic and so it's like nice when they're kind of more bare <laughs> in the beginning of the week i haven't been eating at home a ton i feel like i've been eating out and so I really wanted to start making food at home and I realized that I'm just a lazy person. That's just who I am. I'm lazy. There's a lot of times where I'm like, I just don't want to cook. I don't want to clean. So I decided that on Sundays I want to start meal prepping. And so... I meal prepped quite a bit on Sunday. I made all of these little egg bites. They're ham and cheese. Last week I did cottage cheese with them. This time I didn't because I just felt like it didn't make that big of a difference. And then I also made, well, I kind of ate a lot of this in the middle of the night last night, but I made this protein pasta and then I made this protein Alfredo sauce, which is really good. What's in this, I'll link the recipe that I made for this down below. Is this better than regular Alfredo? No, but is it? Almost as good, yes. For a healthy option, I think this is incredible and I would 100% make it again. It's one part cottage cheese, one part grated Parmesan, two parts milk, and then I did like seasonings, like I did Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, parsley, basil, oregano. I'm pretty sure all those seasonings are also an Italian seasoning, but I just like, really wanted to like season it well. And it was so good and then you blend it in a blender and then you put it in a saucepan until it thickens and I was so impressed by it. I didn't think it was gonna be good, but it was surprisingly very good. And then I also have a bunch to these little like salmon bites. I season them. I'm gonna make these throughout the week, but I put them in little plastic baggies so they're all marinated and all I have to do is just pop them in the air fryer. And then today, see I have like so much, I'm so excited. I got a little crock pot for Christmas and I'm going to use it for the very first time today and you'll prep like some like salsa chicken, like green chili chicken. I'm really excited for it. I'm a little nervous for it because I've never used it. So I hope it doesn't like catch my apartment on fire, you know? So that's why I want to do it on a day where I would be home all day, which was today. So I'm really happy that I made meal prep. Everything is ready to like be put in the microwave or popped in the air fryer in the oven really quickly. And then yeah, it'll make eating throughout this week so much easier and I won't be tempted to eat out. So I'll have food and food that's actually good. Not like, sometimes I make stuff and I'm like, oh, that is gross. I don't like that. But all the things in here are things that I've tried that I liked. Except for we'll see how the crock pot chicken goes. Well, hopefully it's good. Fingers crossed.
I'm currently chatting with Amazon customer support because a while ago I returned something like months ago They keep saying that I didn't return it, but I did and I contacted customer service a while ago And I was like, hey, I returned this I didn't get the refund and they're like, oh we got it, here's your refund. And then I got an email in the morning that was like, you never returned it, we're gonna take back our refund. So now I'm chatting with them because I, I did return it. So I don't know. But I thought this would be really fun. Over 2023, I have this little jar that I put at the bottom of here. And I have a bunch of sticky notes in here that anytime I do something fun, I write it down and I just put it in here so I can review it at the end of the year. And I remembered that I had it. Oh, there's so many. This is so fun. And so I want to like obviously have it empty and start a new one for 2024. But I have all of these fun memories. So I thought I'd go through and read them. recommend doing that that was so fun to look through it like reminded me of so many things throughout this year that went really well and it's all just like positive things things that made me feel good things that made me feel like a good friend things that I had a fun time doing times when I put myself out of my comfort zone it was so fun to read through all of those I'm so glad I did that I journal a ton and the back of the journal that I use has this like pocket and so I thought I would put them all in this little pocket also in case anyone cares they did accept my like refund he was like oh sorry for the inconvenience like that's our mistake so we're all good. This is a lot of, like there's so many in here. I didn't even realize how many I had. These all just made me so happy to read. Like this really started today off on a good note. Like some of them were so funny and like just pure, kind of seeing where I am now versus where I was, like the beginning of things. Like a lot of them was like, oh, like I made new friends. Now I'm close friends with those people. It's just, it's so cute. And there we go. Time start 2024's sticky note jar. Jar of happiness. And it goes right down there. I have some time before my meeting, so I thought that I would start prepping my crock pot recipe stuff. The one thing that I'm really worried about is this is a four quart crock pot or a two quart, what is this? Pause, let me look. Four and a half quart crock pot. Most of them are like eight to nine. So this is like, you know, half the size. And so I don't know if I'm supposed to change the cook time based off that because it's smaller. And I've Googled it a ton and Google's like, yeah, you should. But then they don't tell you how much you should adjust it. I'm just going to keep periodically pure rock. Pure periodically, 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 no, whatever. I'm gonna just keep checking on it throughout the day and using my meat thermometer to see if the chicken is done. But I just washed it so it's nice and warm from the hot water. And then I'm just gonna spray it. I'll link this recipe down below for you guys. I am going to like third this recipe. I don't need six chicken breasts, so I have two right here. And for one person living alone, two is plenty. But I thought a crock pot would just be nice to be able to make meals like this that will be ready. I can, you know, meal prep this for lunch for the weeks, going to work, and I can just make different meals out of it. So we're gonna throw our gross little chicken breasts in there. Ew, oh, oh, my chicken anxiety. And then it says to season with salt and pepper. We're salting her and then we're gonna pepper her. I have a feeling it's going to cook faster because it's obviously such a smaller pan, but it is, you know, it's not six chicken breasts. I don't know, we'll see. And then it says to add garlic and onion. So I have some garlic, some pre-minced garlic. I also wanted recipes that don't have like a block of cream cheese in them, if you know what I mean. I feel like so many recipes have just like a huge block of cream cheese, which I'm trying to just eat like lighter and healthier. My version of healthy, honestly, everyone has a different definition of what healthy means to them. And then to cut up my onion, it's a yellow onion. I got this for Christmas. This is like a little food chopper and it has a dicer on it, which is really, really nice. I've really been liking it. It comes in handy for so many different things. I will link this down below for you guys. I got it in Secret Santa. So my cousin, technically my aunt got it for me. I used to have one of these, but it was like a little bit cheaper and it just, it didn't work that well. So I wanted like a nicer quality one. This one, it wasn't even super expensive, but it was more expensive than the other one that I had. But this one is superior. But one thing that I learned, this is obviously sounds like common sense. You can't just put the onion in there. You have to like chop it. Oh, dang it. I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to dirty two knives because I have raw chicken on the other one that I used. I'm going to cut this directly on my counter. Should I do that? Probably not, but am I going to? Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. The recipe, I'm obviously thirding it. It calls for a whole onion with six chicken breasts. So, you know, a third of an onion, but I think I'm just gonna use a whole onion because I like onion. Okay, the secret with this is you have to hit it right here. It's a little loud, but it just chops it very nicely so you don't have to do all the dicing and it saves a lot of time. This peel does not want to come off. What a pain. Oh, I'm already tearing up. I saw that you're supposed to put like a wet paper towel or something under. 
You, all, you have to do it very aggressively is what I've learned the hard way. One time I made a grinder salad, which is like an Italian salad. Oh gosh, my eyes are spicy. Oh God, with this chopper. My eyes, oh my God, I'm like literally gonna cry. I haven't cried yet this year. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna add this to my cry log. If I do cry, this isn't a real cry. Oh my gosh, wow, this is hurting my eyes. I definitely should have put the wet paper towel down. This is like the most I've ever cried cutting an onion or anything like that in my life. Okay, and then we just have the little last bit left. And then we'll just lay that over the chicken after we obviously clean up the counter. You guys see the, te the tears? Are I need to like wash my hands. Oh my gosh, whoo, spicy. Bringing the chicken back and then we're just going to take, and maybe a little bit too much onion. I'm a little worried that it's too much. It's also kind of like chunky a little bit. Like maybe I should have made it thinner. Okay, yeah, I don't think I want to add the whole onion because I feel like that's just way too much. I think even this is a lot that I'm adding in here. Did anyone just see that onion fly? <laughs> okay, we'll have to use onion for something else this week. Okay, next up. So it says to put an entire can of salsa, so we're not gonna do the entire can of salsa verde, which is like green salsa. I got two different types of salsa because I wasn't sure which one I would like better. I got the regular green salsa from Trader Joe's, and then I also got this Hatch Valley salsa, which is supposed to be spicier, and I'm open to trying both. I just wanted to see if this one would be good. Oh, that smells good, okay. I probably shouldn't open both, no, I think I'm gonna do the Hatch Valley. It's something different. I don't know how much I want to do with this, though. Is that enough? We'll do like a little bit more. It said to use the entire can. Obviously, we're halfing, we're thirding the recipe, but I used half of it. Living life on the edge, am I right? No, I'm just kidding. And then it says to use a can of diced tomatoes. They didn't have any diced tomatoes that didn't need a can opener. <laughs> so I found this whole one, and I'm just gonna chop it up in there. Oh gosh, am I gonna be able to get this open? That's the real question. Oh gosh, this is. Oh, I got it. I got it. No, I don't. I don't got it. I got it. No, I do. I do. I do. I do. Oh, open all the way. Got it. Got it. Got it. Woo! Oh, this is like, it's like smaller tomatoes, but it's fine. Okay, we're not going to use the whole thing. So there's a little bit left. I don't know what I'm going to do with these because I feel like they're going to go bad if I don't use them. And then it says cumin and chili pepper. Chili pepper? Was it chili pepper? Chili powder. Chili powder. I can't find my chili powder. I found her. Okay, I'm just gonna sprinkle it on. Am I supposed to mix these? And then we're gonna sprinkle on the cumin as well. I'll show it to you guys because you can't see the raw chicken, so it's it's safe. <laughs> the raw chicken is covered. Am I supposed to mix this together? Oh, it says to stir everything around. Cool. This is what it looks like right here, and then we're just gonna take our spoon and just kind of like mix it all around. I'm gonna kind of like maybe stab these tomatoes so they're a little bit smaller, mix it all around. And then I'm gonna put this on high for four and a half hours, which is what it calls. But I think at like the two hour mark, I'm gonna check it just to see how far in it is. And then, you know, reevaluate based on that. I hope it's good. How do I know if it's on? Is it supposed to light up? Show me the instructions. There is no, I don't think it's turned on. There's no like power. Okay, I feel like it, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I feel like it's warmer, but it, it says that there's a power light. I don't know, there's no power light. What power light? I don't want like just like raw chicken sitting on my counter for four hours. I feel like getting warmer. So, but there is no power light. It says there's supposed to be a light that indicates that it's plugged in, but it's not on, but I'm not seeing that, but I, ugh. I don't, this is stressing me out. I might watch a YouTube video on it. I can like hear it. It's like, okay, I think it's on. I don't know. This is stressing me out. I just don't want this thing to like catch on fire or just like have like raw chicken sitting on my counter all day. Those are my two big fears right now. This looks like it's working, like it's fogging up. Oh, it's, it's hot to the touch. I'm just gonna tell myself it's working. <laughs> I always think those like walking clips are always so funny because everybody knows I have to set the camera up, walk there, walk back, walk, like it's just, we all, we all know what's going on behind the scenes. But I was doing some work and then I was like, you know what? I can be walking while I work with my new walking pad that I bought. I'm so excited for this walking pad. So I need to unbox it and set it up. I'm a little worried. So I got two things. I got a walking pad, which is this bad boy. And then I got a desk riser, which is this little boy. Kind of medium sized boy or girl or 
I don't know. I am nervous to set this up. I got this in the mail yesterday, and so we're just gonna figure it out together. I got these both on Amazon. I really hope they work out because it's going to be such a hassle to return them if they don't, but if it doesn't work out, I'm gonna return them. I don't really know where I wanna put all this stuff. That's also the issue that I am coming to see. I don't know. I think I should just start by unboxing it. I'm just gonna move it over here. Oh, no, 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 no. It's slippery. She's like slipping out of my hands. I think it's supposed to be this way. Oh, that almost crushed my fingers. No, we don't like that. Let's get to unboxing. How do they expect me to open this? For real, how do they expect me to open this? This is so well packaged. Okay, getting there. We're getting somewhere. Okay, so this is what we got so far. Looks like there's a little remote that comes with it to plug it into the wall, the instructions, the walking pad. It looks nice. I'm so excited. Ah! Oh, this is so heavy. Oh, it looks like this is like the oil to like lubricate it so it doesn't squeak. I'm going to do the responsible thing that I don't normally do and read the directions. Normally I just wing it. I think it's probably best for me to just read the directions. My issue is I always tell myself I'm gonna read the directions. I slightly skim them and I'm like, whatever, I can figure it out. At least I have faith in myself, I guess. What is this? No, read the directions, Keegan, read the directions. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna do exactly what I just said I wouldn't do and I'm gonna wing it. Sick. It's kinda loud. Wait, this is fast. <laughs> oh no, it's not. It's kinda loud. I feel like it was weird how you guys could see my feet. So this is the slowest it goes. What's the fastest it goes? There's no way I could work at this speed. But at like a slower speed I could. I wonder if it's supposed to be this loud because you can kinda hear like the shh sound or if I need to oil it. I like it already. You know what though? Let's turn it off. Okay, it's not turning off, pause off okay cool cool it was supposed to have like a handle like i tr i think i bought one with like a handle rail is this a hand um maybe i didn't i thought i did i don't know i guess not i'm looking at my amazon orders to see <laughs> if i got one with the handle rail i oh maybe i didn't get one with the handle rail oh i think i misunderstood i think i got one and it has a photo of someone with a standing desk and i thought that was a handle rail so yeah this was 170 dollars which is honestly a lot of money but other ones that i saw were like 300 200 i mean 200 is pretty close to 170 but i like it so far i wonder if i have to oil it or not and now we need to set up my little standing desk thing that i got so essentially what this is not a monitor but it's a little thing that you put on top of your desk to make it stand so i didn't have to buy a standing desk i could just use like a desk that i already owned i wonder if this could go in my bedroom because okay let me show you guys this i don't know if this is gonna work i have that foldable desk that's what i was planning on using but i wonder if i could put this in my room so i have this let's get a good feel for how long it is okay and then in my bedroom i don't have a ton of room in between my desk and here but i wonder like no i think my bed is too low to the ground i was gonna say like i wonder if some of it could just like go under my bed but i think my bed is too low but maybe like this Hmm, no, looking at, looking at the walking pad, I think it's too tall for under my bed. Dang it, that's okay. It will just be like a little annoying, like putting it all away all the time, but I mean, nobody comes to my apartment, so like, does it really matter? Oh no, the box is, you can't see it, but the box is, ah! Okay, whatever, whatever. An update, it's been like an hour and 15 minutes. This is very hot. It's very hot, but it looks like it's working. My apartment smells really good. I'm excited for it. I'm very nervous. I hope it turns out well. In another hour, I'm gonna check it to see if it's cooked or not, because I have no idea. So I'm just gonna check it halfway. Okay, now we're gonna work on this to see. I hope it like is already assembled and you don't need to assemble it. I liked that this was already assembled too. Like there wasn't anything that I had to do for it. I think I have it flipped the wrong way. Oh, maybe I didn't. I don't know. I'm sweating. Oh my gosh. I think I need to change into some workout clothes. Could this be any harder to get out? <laughs> no, it could. It really could. Victory! Wow. Okay, I think it's already assembled. Press the handle inwards. Ooh. <gasps> Whoa. 
Okay, that's way too tall. Okay, so let's lower it. Okay, it's not lowering. This is too tall. How do we lower it though? There's no instructions on how to lower it. You would think it'd be the same way, but it's just, it's not like lowering. Hello? Why won't it lower? I'm dripping in sweat right now, you guys. Just got off a call. I have an hour and 16 minutes left on the chicken. If you guys do not have a meat thermometer, I highly recommend it. I have a huge fear of getting salmonella. I like to call it salmon vanilla because I think it's funnier. So if I ever say salmon vanilla, no, I know it's not pronounced that. Because so many people are like, Keegan, that's so dumb. You do not know how to pronounce salmonella. No, I do. I just think it's funny to call it salmon vanilla. But I always am really scared of getting food poisoning. So a meat thermometer is one of the best decisions I've ever gotten. I'll link this one down below for you guys. Let's see if this is 165 for chicken. Oh, it's way past 165. It's almost like perfect. It's like 175, 180. I'm just poking it in a bunch of different places just to see if there's any place that's like not done yet. Okay, so this is ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my blender, not my blender, my mixer and shred the chicken. That's just like an easier way of shredding it. Alexa, timer off. Four hour timer canceled. Instead of like shredding it with forks, which will take a long time, you can use your blender. So this called for four hours, four and a half hours or so, and this took about three. So that's good to know. I've never shredded chicken with a blender, so I'm curious to see how this goes. Let me show you guys what it looks like. This is her. This is what she looks like. It looks really good. I'm very excited. I'm a little nervous. I really hope this turns out well. Let's do this. Everybody wish for the best for me. That wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I thought it would like, the chicken would just be so juicy and just kind of like shred instantly, but not really. And the stuff got everywhere. It was good though. There's still like, yeah, no, this really didn't shred that easily. Cause there's still like giant, like it's still a huge chunk of chicken. Maybe I just need to be more patient with it. I think I'm gonna use my chicken shredder. I have a chicken shredder. I'll link that down below as well. I think that might just be easier to use. It's this little thing right here and you just put the chicken in it and then you turn it a couple times and it shreds the chicken. Look at it, like this is so odd after so next time i think i'm just gonna use this instead so you know it works and then i'll just put it back in so this is my first time using the crock pot so if anyone has any suggestions or i don't know just anything that i can learn from this please let me know and so you just shred it like this and it shreds it up nice and easy and it's easier that it's hot but i did like that like this took 10 minutes to prep obviously it took three hours to cook but i could just put it in there and not worry about it and see my chicken is all shredded oh i should have taken the other chicken breast out before i did that the chicken looks kind of like boring. Okay, now we have our other piece of chicken that we're gonna shred. And I thought I could make tacos, burrito bowls, regular burritos with this. Like just, I could have lots of options because it's just like the chicken is pre-made and I could just use it in a bunch of different ways. I highly recommend this chicken shredder, guys. Like it is so much easier than using that blender. I keep calling it a blender. What is it called? The hand mixer? I turned it from high to warm. Warm essentially just going to keep it warm. It's not gonna cook it anymore from what the instructions told me. But this is what it looks like when it's all said and done. That we would do like a little taste test of it. It looks good. I don't know. We will see. It's good. <coughs> oh my god. I choked on it. It's good. I feel like it's weird because like it has a lot of flavor, but at the same time it's like lacking flavor. I don't know. But I'm gonna make little tacos with these. I think I'm gonna do like three little tacos. I got these mini tortillas and I was gonna do avocado with them. I think avocado with them could taste good. So let's make some lunch. Today's a good day. I already completed everything on my to-do list other than my Pilates class that's at 6.30 tonight. I walked on the little walking pad for an hour while I was working. It was really nice. I walked at like a slower pace. I think in the future I could probably go faster, but since it was my very first time, I didn't want to like overdo it, but I really like it. It's honestly so much easier to walk and work than I thought it would be. Like I thought it'd be so hard. I would never do that during meetings because you can hear it, but working on my own, like on my computer, I definitely, I'm going through that so much more often. It's so much easier than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be hard to like focus on typing or thinking or doing work while walking, but I don't even notice the fact that I'm walking. I looked down at the little timer and I was like, oh my God, I was doing that for an hour. I didn't even realize that I've been working for an hour, let alone that I've been walking for an hour. Let me look at my little like Apple watch. My Apple watch and the treadmill said like a little different of how many calories and miles I walked, which every single treadmill is like that. On my Apple watch, it said that I walked 1.2 miles at an average pace of 52 minutes per mile, which is like a very slow, 
slow mile. Like, don't get me wrong. I normally walk like a 16, 17 minute mile if I were to walk outside. So obviously an hour long mile is very slow, but I'm working while I'm doing it. And again, I could always go faster. I would be sitting otherwise. So I mean, I'm happy with that. I burned 132 calories, which I'm not counting calories or anything like that. It's just interesting. My other alternative was just sitting on my chair the entire day. So I'm pretty happy with that. I do think that I want to go on an outdoor walk. One of my New Year's resolutions, or at least goals for this month is to walk 10,000 steps five days a week. Last week, I did it four days a week, not five days a week, which a little upsetting. I think that if I had the walking pad, I probably could have made it, but I didn't. I've already walked 4,500 steps today. Did I say 10 miles? No. What? 10,000 steps a day. I'm almost halfway there. Whoa, we're halfway there. Have you guys seen that video where it's like, Lincoln on a bear, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I don't know, I love that video. That video is from so long ago. But I might go on a walk after I finish the work day. I think I'm done with the work day, but I also get like really worried that I'm not done with it and then they're gonna need me for something and I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm 20 minutes away from my house right now because I went on a walk because I thought I was done. Because my hours, I don't have like very like set in stone hours. Do what you gotta do when you gotta do it. And when you're done, you're done. When you're not, you're not. And I just never know if like I, something comes up. But I would much rather prefer that over you have to sit at your desk until 5 p.m. and do absolutely nothing because you have nothing to work on. But I'm really happy about the walking pad. I also did contact customer service or customer support for that company about why it wouldn't lower. And they were saying that you need to put it on the floor and like use more of like your body weight. So I like literally put my knee on it and press it down. So I guess I just like wasn't strong enough to like press it down on my own. But I'm, I'm I'm just I'm in a good mood. I'm really happy that I have that. I think this is something that I can do more often. I can even like watch TV and walk on my little walking pad because I could go to my apartment's gym, but sometimes just like the idea of going over there. I'm like, this is it's very lazy of me, but I can exercise without being around people, which is a win in itself. So I'm in a really great mood today. I feel very productive. I honestly think, like I was saying, prepping on Sunday night to do all of this really set me up for success. I also cleaned my kitchen, like I put all that crock pot stuff away. I cleaned my crock pot, like I'm just in a good mood. I'm feeling productive, I'm feeling motivated, I'm feeling determined. Life is good, and I'm really happy about it. I feel like this doesn't happen often and I'm still worried I'm gonna get sick so I'm worried that that's gonna like dilute my momentum but you do what you gotta do. One thing that I do need to do is get rid of all these boxes and go bring them down. That's kind of like overwhelming me but I can't bring this giant box in my trash too because I don't want to have to have like the maintenance people in my apartment deal with that so I need to bring it down to the dumpster and I don't really want to do that but I will. <laughs> this is where we're at today on our goals. So this was last week and then this is where I'm at today. Obviously I still need to finish drinking my water, my steps, and then do my skincare routine at night. And I also I also don't plan on eating out alone today because I have so much food prepped. I have Pilates tonight. I'm trying to decide if I want to eat my crock pot chicken or if I want to make salmon. I think that I want to make salmon because, you know, it's not a good idea to bring fish to an office. But this is what it all looks like. I'm trying to find like other recipes that I can use this tomato and then these onions so I don't let them go to waste. I was thinking of making like some kind of like tomato rice or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. But this is, it looks so good. I'm thinking of making like burrito bowls in the office. And then I have this cucumber. Uh, why did I just call this cucumber? Avocado that I added like guacamole. It's not really guacamole. It's just avocado, but I added that to my tacos. Went on my walk, went to Pilates. Look at my hair in my face right now. Like this is just post exercise. But let's see where I'm at today. 13,000 steps, kind of a sleigh. Everything's so tailor coded. We're making dinner. I'm thinking I'm gonna do the salmon for dinner tonight. This box is driving me insane. I need to recycle it, but I'm feeling lazy. So I marinated my salmon two different ways. One of them I've never tried before, one of them I have, but I've never marinated it in like cubes. I have three different little baggies of salmon. One of them I marinated the ways that I always do, but two of them I marinated differently. I think I'm gonna do the different ones. This is garlic, soy sauce, sesame oil, chili onion crunch. That was the different thing that I added to it, and I did it like in little cubes, and I've marinated it overnight and then I'm going to do some broccoli. How do you microwave this? Cut off corner of the bag and then you microwave it for four minutes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat up this rice cauliflower and then I'm going to also heat up regular rice and I'm gonna mix the rice cauliflower in with the rice. So it's like half cauliflower rice, half regular rice. Just so I get more vegetables in and I don't really notice it because it's like mixed up with regular rice. I don't think I could eat regular cauliflower rice on its own. I think that's just gross. But if I mix it with regular rice, I think I can convince myself it's real rice. Just because I wanna add more vegetables and I want more like density in my meals without 
eating like a ton of rice. Not that rice is bad. You know what? I'm, I'm just trying to eat up. I'm trying to add more vegetables, not take away carbs. So that's what I'm going to have. And then I'm going to do this in the air fryer. I always have to Google how long I need to put in the air fryer for because I always forget it. And I don't like the air fryer setting on my air fryer. How long to cook salmon for in the air fryer? Jump to recipe. Jump to recipe. I hate when there's like a million little blogs. Come on. Jump. Jump. Oh my God. Why won't it jump? Oh, this is fast. Okay. I need to, I need to get on this. So this is the jasmine rice from Trader Joe's. And then I'm heating up the cauliflower rice just to make it like soft. And then I'm gonna combine them together. The broccoli is also done. Woohoo! And I just made everything. So I'm gonna meal prep it basically. So I'm making big servings of everything so I can just heat them up throughout the week, which will just be easier, especially tomorrow because I do a later Pilates class and I get really hungry afterwards and I just do not want to cook. So this is gonna be really nice. Okay, we're gonna combine these. Let's try it. I also find the secret with this is maybe like with soy sauce or like some type of sauce in it so you don't really taste it too much you can't differentiate okay i think it's soft enough i'm gonna put it in my little tub oh this is scary i'm gonna move it away from the hot pan hot stove this is only half of the bag of the cauliflower rice i didn't want to make all of it if i didn't like it and then i was thinking of doing like little burrito bowls with some of that chicken that i made today in the crock pot for lunch tomorrow so i could do like that chicken and then the little rice mix that i have going on and like some salsa and guac and then kind of call that like a little burrito bowl. I'm currently mixing the rices together and the issue that I'm realizing is the colors are different like the cauliflower is more yellow and the rice is white and the whole point is to trick myself so I need to change the color <laughs> of the rice. I think that's probably why I'll add soy sauce to it so I can kind of like trick myself a little bit but I just you can like easily tell what is rice and what is cauliflower rice and it's also mostly cauliflower and I'm gonna add the broccoli and the salmon will be done shortly and it's gonna be good. This broccoli was just like bagged broccoli that I just put in the microwave for three minutes. It's just nice not having to dirty another pan. This is lazy girl cooking to an extreme, but also lazy healthy girl, you know? I'm trying to achieve my goals with the least amount of effort possible. That is really my model for life, honestly. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna season my broccoli with salt, pepper, garlic powder, I think, just so they taste like something. I was thinking for my burrito bowls for tomorrow, I could add some like lime juice to the rice. I don't have any cilantro to make like cilantro lime rice, but I think that that would kind of make it a little more on brand. Guess what's ready? I hate how it beeps so much. Like we get it. We, it's still going. Okay, I finally stopped. I'm gonna use my little meat thermometer to see if the salmon is ready. Hopefully it will be. Field trip to the salmon. My kitchen is a complete mess right now. Oh, that looks beautiful. Okay, this th meat thermometer tells you what it needs to be. So fish needs to be 145. What is it? Oh, it's way past 145. It's like 180. That's yum. That looks so good. I'm so excited to try this. Like I said, I've never tried this marinade before. The salmon, I sprayed the pan. Why is the salmon like sticking to the air fryer? Get out. Out, 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 out. Yum. This looks so good, you guys. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. And this is so nice because this entire meal took me less than 10 minutes to make because I had the salmon prepped. Then I mean, everything else was just like in bags <laughs> that I heated up in the microwave besides the cauliflower rice. Okay, this doesn't look that beautiful, but it looks like it's gonna be good. I feel like it's gonna be hot. I'll try the broccoli first. Mm. I try the rice. It could fool me. The salmon is definitely gonna be so hot. I'm gonna burn my mouth, but I'm, I don't care. I'm so excited for it. That's good. I like that. I like that a lot. I do think I'm gonna put some soy sauce on the rice, but other than that, this is a good meal. I'm pumped.